Nina, let me read you some of these tweets. Well, they just picked a Muslim from Miss America. If you're Miss America, you should have to be American. 9-11 was four days ago, and she gets Miss America. And, you know, this isn't even the worst of it, as you know. So you've got these crazy people out there calling you all kinds of names, all kinds of things, after coming off this incredible win. What was your initial reaction to that? You know, it's an unfortunate situation, but all of that stemmed from ignorance. And for all the negative tweets and messages that I've received, there have been dozens of positive remarks and statements and support from not only the Indian community, but people all across America and the world for that matter. And in fact, this morning, I saw a new campaign launched by students of Duke University, and they called it Stand With Nina, and they, the hashtag is Stand With Nina, and they are tweeting about their, about cultural competency. And to have that kind of support is really incredible. Now that's great. And you've got websites like BuzzFeed, right. uh, which have gathered some of the most offensive tweets out there and put them out there so that people could see those Twitter handles. And consequently, those that had been tweeting these kinds of things had to shut down their accounts. Do you feel at least like there's some justice in the social media space? Absolutely. And, it, and there certainly is. And right now we're also as Miss America, I'm launching a new campaign called Circles of Unity, and I'm asking everyone to tweet me their thoughts and pictures and uh, videos about cultural awareness and hashtag Circles of Unity. And so this is really to create a discussion and a civil discourse about, you know, cultural competency in our country. You know, Sam, the Miss America organization has come under criticism in the past for being seen as old-fashioned or quaint. Uh, this year's first runner-up, Miss California, um, Crystal Lee, is an Asian American. You have an Indian American who won. Do you feel that Miss America is reflecting a more diverse population of American women? Well, I'm going to take a quote that Nina has been using, and, and she talks a lot about what does the girl next door look like. Mm -hmm. The girl next door is a very diverse girl next door now. And I was thrilled that our winner and first runner-up were, were different ethnicities because it shows that we are progressing. And while we always search for relevance, we have to maintain certain traditions. But the relevancy that comes from a young woman like Nina Devalari winning Miss America is explosive to us and positive. You know, we always get people that come to us and say, oh, she's too blonde, she's too tall, she's too this, she's too that, she's too ethnic. Okay, 30 years ago, Vanessa Williams became the first African American Miss America. 30 years ago. 30 so, years ago to the day. To the day the way, right? that and the she first was... Indian American Miss America was that's, chosen. That's pretty and they were both Miss Syracuse in the Miss New York pageant. They were both Miss New York and they both won Miss America. So how about that? For better or for worse, you're known as the Miss America that had horrible things said about her in social media right after winning. Does this, you think, raise the stakes, the bar for what you can achieve this year? I think it's definitely shed more light on the issue that I'm trying to promote and that's the best part of this is that now I have this new avenue where I can get the entire social media involved and again create that civil discourse conversation and, and have that build that more inclusive society. Sam, this is a rating success, the best in what, nearly a decade. What do you attribute that to? I attribute it to a lot of people at a grassroots level stepping up, tweeting, doing local articles in their newspapers, talking talking about when the telecast was going to be on. The social media aspect of Miss America has just exploded. How do you compete these days with the Trump Organization and, and Miss USA? Miss USA contestants want to be Victoria's Secret models and Miss America contestants want to be doctors and lawyers. So that's how we deal with it. We talk about scholarship, we talk about community service, and we talk about talent. These are the things that distinguish us from all those who try to emulate us. And that's what it's about. That's what the difference is. So Nina, you won a lot of scholarship money. Certainly Miss America did. gives out $45 million a year Up in scholarship in, money. In kind and mm -hmm. cash, yes. Um, what are you going to do? Are you, are you going to go on to medical school? Yes, I graduated from University of Michigan. I'm in the process of applying to medical school and now with Miss America on my resume, hoping to stand out even more on those applications.